hello everyone who is watching. In this video, I will be seeing how one thing in history relates to something that is happening now and try to see the outcome of it. The thing in history will be the Cold War and the thing that is happening now are the tensions between the US and North Korea. And as you guys know, this video is, is there a Cold War 2.0 happening? Okay, let's start with a simple question. What was the Cold War? The Cold War was in between 1947 and 1989. It is called the Cold War because there was no fighting in it. It was mainly just threats the US sent to Soviet Russia and vice versa. Many millions of people were afraid of a nuclear bomb, bomb being dropped on their country. The United States were very anti-communist and the Soviet Union was anti-capitalist. The definition of communism is a theory or system of social organization in which all property is owned by the community and each person contributes and receives according to their ability and needs. That may sound good, but it isn't. Trust me. Because there is no free speech and you can't vote about who you want to be your leader. Only the government officials decide that. And just so you know, the definition of capitalism is an economic and political system in which a country's trade and industry are controlled by private owners for profit rather than by the state. Which basically means that all the people have free speech and can vote, plus they, all, they can all own their own company. That is not the case in communism. In the end, Soviet Russia, the Soviet Union collapsed because their leader at the time, Mikhail Gorbachev, said that Russia needed a change from communism, and that is what started the downfall for the USSR. The Cold War ended in 1989, and the Soviet Union collapsed on 1991, December 26th. They collapsed because of an unstable economy. What are the tensions between North Korea and the US? I'm sure you know what I'm talking about now. Recent, um, recently, especially during Donald J. Trump's presidency, there have been tensions between him and the leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un. There, uh, there has been kind of a Cold War 2.0 going on, but this time it is much different. It is a lot different because North Korea isn't one of the superpowers of the world and the US is. But something that, some things that are similar are that um, North Korea is a very mysterious country, like the Soviet Union was, and they are also very aggressive towards their neighbors, South Korea. North Korea's weapons are nowhere near as advanced as the U.S.'s are. You guys may be thinking, why doesn't the United States wipe North Korea off the map or just Kim Jong-un? It's because they might also be killing thousands of other Kore innocent Koreans. And if they try to nuke them, the radiation will most likely spread to South Korea and China and kill off way more species and people than ever intended, especially if they bomb the capital of the country, Pyongyang, which is right next to China, so it could kill millions. The two leaders have also pu been publicly offending each other and have also been using a social media site called Twitter to offend each other. One fun fact about North Korea is that they don't allow people to watch a lot of things from the outside world, such as Netflix, and most of the population can't even use internet. How crazy is that? I wouldn't be able to post my videos there. Oh my god. Well, the main... Um, what is everything they have in common? Well, the main and obvious thing they have in common is that they are sending threats to each other, like in the Cold War. One of the countries also have a horrible tyrant and an unstable government and economy. The reason for North Korea's unstable economy is that the Soviet Union used to supply them with goods like uranium, food, and water. But the Soviet Union collapsed, and I'm pretty sure you can work, out to work it out for yourself what happened. Yet another very important thing they have in common is that they are both armed with nuclear weapons, so they can cause mass destruction to other lands and each other. But North Korea's nukes can't go across the Pacific Ocean. Yet. Also, since 
the Soviet Union collapsed, China has been supplying North Korea. So I don't think we in Hong Kong have to worry about have to worry about anything. It hasn't happened yet, but I think because of North Korea's very unstable economy, um, I hope that um, because of North Korea's very unstable economy, um, I think they might collapse. I hope that North Korea can change with along with their leader so they can all have a good life and not go down the same path as the Soviet Union. In conclusion guys, thank you for thank you all for watching my video. I hope you lear all learned something new and found it entertaining and not boring. Okay, bye now.